Right, this morning uh, I woke up with a um, bogey internet connection. Um, there's no Wi-Fi, so I tried it with the cable connection and um, still no internet. What well, actually I cannot access the uh, edge router light. Um, so what I well, I've been trying a few times and still without success. So um, I. Uh, took that thing apart and uh, tried to uh, create a new um, USB boot drive for the edge root light and um, I, have sh I have actually taken a part of this thing let me see if you can right now here's the edge root light and that's what's inside okay as you can see it properly and um, this is the USB drive um, came with it uh, so well until this morning it, is, it has been running perfectly fine but for some reason I just cannot access this thing anymore now this is the uh, 16 gig um, SanDisk USB drive but I have this lying around so I just use this to create a, a fresh OS for this um, edge router. Hopefully it works. This is USB 3 and I believe that's USB 2. And that shouldn't be actually that shouldn't be a problem at all. Now I'm going to try to put this back in and um, see how it works. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. Otherwise, I would be very upset. Okay. Right, now this thing is back in and switched on. The light is flashing. That is a good thing. Uh, I really hope this thing works. Okay, here. Okay, here's the uh, Chrome. Now let's try to plug this thing in and see what happens. Ooh. Sweet. Yeeha. Now problem solved. All right, now I'm gonna just set it up and um, just, just just make it up running, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Right, everything has up and running now. Um, here's to show you, I can access the um, web interface. Here's the uh, Edge Max. Um, the one I flushed, it was well, the firmware I flushed. It was um, I think it's one point two point zero. Now I immediately um, upgrade to 1.9.1. That's the latest one from the um, Ubiquiti website. Now you can see all posts are running. Uh, well, this this disconnected. Now let me just show you my setup. It's very messy. Um, I will be sort this out hopefully soon. But now I just leave with it. Right. Here's the uh, Virgin Media Box. That is uh, on the uh, it has it has been set um, on the road uh, router, the modem mode. So that is the output to the edge router light. Here's to the ETH one, uh, zero. And that's the uh, one. Uh, I set uh, with the uh, one one and a two LAN. Those two LANs they on the bridge. So. Just in the future, if I want to add more stuff on it, so I don't have to reconfigure them. Uh, now the LAN out into a, a switch. Uh, it's the um, a TP-Link Gigbit uh, switch, which is managed. I did a video uh, about this. Um, I will try to link that video uh, down the description. Um, now here's the into the the last port. And uh, and all the rest 
just uh, you know to the computer to the um, uh, AC Pro, which is the uh, UAP AC Pro, which is the uh, the main Wi-Fi in the house. And now this thing, it is uh, a PoE uh, a switch, so it has the. Uh, uh, um, 48 volt standard uh, actually will power the uh, AC Pro, which is uh, one of the reasons I bought this. It's uh, it's working well. Uh, it's um, I didn't actually notice any um, um, package drop or anything, or you know slow internet connection. And uh, here is to the I think what's this. Oh, this one's to the Fire TV. Uh, I know it has better Wi-Fi connection, but sometimes it just, you know, sometimes the Wi-Fi is not stable enough for me to watch any kind of video streaming. Uh, as long as it's not like 4K video streaming, you'll be all right. Um, so it won't affect the, uh, the, 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 the bandwidth or anything. Uh, yeah, now here's just a basic setup. Now, uh, hopefully I will just tidy this tidy this area up and then show you guys another video um, but for now that's it um, problem solved so we have internet backup on all right see you guys soon